If you look at the light bulb, you see six small circles. The first focuses on how you identify a problem. The second focuses on the extent to which, if you've got a problem, you can identify the goal that you're going to use. How would we know if we've made the kind of difference we wanted? The third, and the one that is really significant, is the extent to which you use data to identify a solution that is evidence-based, that is practical, and that fits the cultural and organizational context that you're in. Those three, identifying the problem, building the goal, and building a solution, are the problem-solving core of TIPS. From there, you move into the implementation parts. So you are going to implement the solution, and a critical thing is not just are we doing some of it, but are we doing it with adequate fidelity that we produce a real change? Then you're going to monitor, you're going to measure. Now here's, this is going to be important, and this is a tricky piece because it's one of the ways that you really use data in all parts of the TIPS process. I want you to be able to measure not just are we producing change in students, but I want you also to measure are we actually doing what we said we would do? So in the TIPS process, one of the great things is you'll be able to say, here's the plan that we've got, here's if we know we've implemented the plan, and then we ask, has it produced real change in student outcomes? The final part is you say, well, have we produced change that's adequate? Is it enough? Should we move on? Should we adapt? Oftentimes, when you're doing interventions in schools, the first effort to put it in place is pretty good, but not quite perfect. So you want adaptations. This point in the TIPS process is where you use the data to produce that change. Now, part of what I want you to really recognize is that each of those elements involves using data. You use data to identify the problem. You use data to identify a goal. You definitely use the data to identify what would be a solution that would be evidence-based, practical, and fit our context. Then, of course, you're going to use data to say, did we implement with fidelity? Then you use data to say, if we implemented, did it really produce change in the behavior of students? And from there, how do we determine if we continue, modify, or terminate the programs that we've been doing?